Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. We were out uh, in the afternoon with, with her friend and, and her grandson and I, and we were just swimming and uh, they were doing, you know, just playing around and it got time to, to come out and Emily was wanting to, to jump in and, and one more time. And, and so she did, and I watched her jump in and, and go underwater, and I figured, okay, she'll come up and, and come out. And so I was tending to my grandson, and we were drying, and, and her, her friend said, Emily's not coming out. And, and so her friend jumped in and then came up and said, she's not responding, she's not moving. And so I jumped back in and tried to pick her up and, and have her get up, but she was not moving. Um, eventually, my wife came out and, and helped me, and, and we got her within a couple minutes back. She was breathing uh, about the time that the, the paramedics and fire department showed up. A patient named Emily uh, presented originally with a near drowning episode, uh, so she almost lost her life to drowning. And whenever that happens, usually you want to check out the brain and make sure that the brain's okay. And one of the things that was done was uh, imaging studies of the brain. It was just really scary. We didn't know what was going on. And our daughter is, was in nursing school at the time. She said, I really think she's having problems with seizures. I think it's a seizure. She, she, her body wasn't shaking and things. She just stiffened up um, on, her, on, on the left side. The problem is that the scan showed a walnut-sized uh, tumor in the right side of her brain, just behind her right eye. She developed seizures that were coming from the tumor, and it looked as if the tumor was actually getting bigger and growing. Her seizures had gotten to the point now that even the seizure medicines weren't stopping them, and she was having several seizures a day. Actually, she's fine it's... until she's not. Just all of a sudden she's not and you don't know. Up there you fold it like that. You can imagine how it's called hemming. incapacitating that would be, trying to go to school, be with your friends, do anything when you're going to have several seizures a day. Peter, come here. And then she had her first surgery uh, last year. Come on. She had her second surgery um, in the beginning of August. Uh, where Dr. Moss was able to take about 90% of it out. Um, and so since that, uh, that time, she's only had two, maybe two seizures. When something like that all comes together, all the technology comes together, and you see a child's life basically changed, and seizure frequency drop down to almost nothing, and their life change, it's a real high. It makes you realize that your whole life to this point has been worthwhile. And so whenever I walk into a hospital, it's just uncomfortable, but um, I don't have that feeling anymore. And so we, yeah, we love Cardin's. Mm -hmm.